Hey there, you're watching Dirt Bike Channel. I'm your host, Kyle Brotherson, and today I'm going to attempt to explain to you why I ride dirt bikes. Stick around. So this is the topic I've wanted, I've wanted to cover for a long time. I just haven't quite known what I wanted to say. I was going to do a bullet points, you know, I was going to have an outline of everything I wanted to say, uh, but that isn't happening. I find myself in the mountains today. I'm about two days probably from my first ride. It's Wednesday, uh, November 14th, and I couldn't be happier. I am up in basically my church, my temple up here in the mountains. I'm at 8,890 feet today. And the only reason this bike is with me is on the off chance that I got up here and I was, and I was too overcome and tempted to ride. I came up here to kind of scout out this trail, this trail system that I've ridden for years to see what the snow was doing and to see what the mud level was doing. And it turns out I walked about a mile down the trail here and no, I did because I had my GPS with me. I walked a mile down the trail and then a mile back and I'm like, no, it's just not going to work. There's too much snow. Uh, I'd be damaging the trail system um, with, with how muddy it is. So uh, the bike is only getting out of the truck here for this shot. And I wanted to show you this because I freaking love dirt bikes. I love, love, love dirt bikes. Dirt bikes have meant so much to me. And one of the things that I've noticed about riding dirt bikes is it just kind of takes you to a new place. Everything else goes out the window. Your problems go out the window, your worries go out the window, your stresses go out the window, and it's just you and the machine and the mountain or the desert or the trail or the trees. And it is a magical, magical experience because when you're, when you're pushing it, even if you're not pushing it, but when you're pushing it even just a little bit, you can't be thinking about that project you have to do at work. You can't be thinking about that honeydew thing, or you can't be thinking about that stressful thing that's happened with your, with your kids at, at their school or whatever. It's just you and the machine. And it is like, it's like a drug. It's like this amazing, amazing thing that is so difficult to describe unless you've done it. Dirt bikes just has become an addiction to me. I'm like addicted to that feeling that I get, that euphoria. And then I'm out here in nature and, and these leaves, I, I miss, I missed everything. I, I miss these leaves turning from green uh, or, or watching them come in. Cause I, I hurt my ACL in May this, this year. So that was right before the leaves would have started to come out. So I, I miss the leaves budding and I miss the leaves turning yellow and then falling down. But I can still smell, I can still smell here in, in these aspen, in this aspen grove, a little bit of that decaying, you know, super awesome fall autumn smell. And those are some of the things that you get when you're out on a, on a dirt bike. You get to see the winter, you get to see the spring, you get to see the summer, the fall, and then you're back into the winter. And I love, I love the change of the seasons. And it's so fun to go out and see those trails and see the forest and see the desert on the seat or on the pegs rather, on the pegs of a dirt bike because you can cover so much ground so quickly and you're not beating up the environment. You're just in a single track. It is so amazing. It is so amazing to be out there. It is such a fulfilling thing. I have loved being able to grow and learn and learn new skills and push the boundaries and push the limits, you know, covering the, th covering the, the clutch and covering the brake and grabbing a little bit of throttle and all of these things and, and getting over logs like the log that is right over there. I mean, seriously, there's a log right over here that four years ago I would have practically pooed myself. I, I wouldn't have dared get over it. But today, after not riding for even six months, I just wanted to bring the bike from, from over there to over here. And here's this log. I haven't ridden for six months. The bike isn't even warm. I don't have any gear on, nothing. And I just come over to that and I go blip and ride over to the log. And it's because you progress. And I love, I love that progression. I love being able to know that I'm getting better and I'm not, I don't care about my lap times. I'm never going to be a professional racer. I don't care if I'm the fastest guy out there. I don't care if I'm the slowest guy out there. I'm doing this just to have fun and be fulfilled. And I have found that I can have fun and fulfillment at every level, at every stage that I'm at on these dirt bikes. I have fun and I get fulfillment and I have enjoyment and it is a major, major, major blessing in my life. It has given me something to look forward to. And over the past six months, that thing, that thing was stripped from me. And and the last six months 
have been the hardest six months of my life. It isn't all because of the fact that this was stripped from me. I've had other things going on, but I can tell you that a major, major factor in why I have had the darkest six months of my life is because this blessing and this gift was not available to me because I was rehabbing my uh, ACL and my MCL on this knee, actually. I point to this one, but it's, it's this knee. And, and what did I do for that time? In the six months that I've been off the bike, what have I been doing? I have been working my freaking butt off so that when it's time, whew, sorry, so that when it's time to get back on the bike, I am stronger than ever and I'm in better shape than ever. And I can tell you that I am in better shape right now than I've ever been. I'm watching what I eat. I watch my weight. I'm working out every day, either on the rowing machine or the skiing machine or the stationary bike. I'm working out constantly. And it's because of this. I want to be fit so that I can do this and I, can, I won't be encumbered and I won't be inhibited. Dirt bikes are going to make me live longer because I'm in better shape. I can tell you that right now. Um, so in a couple of days, when I get back to doing the thing I love, I'm just going to thank God that I have this opportunity. And yes, this is my dirt church <laughs> right here. It's given me a lifelong friend back. It's given me new friends and it's given me a purpose. I love dirt bikes. And I love sharing my world with you while I'm doing it. And hopefully some of you guys have gotten some benefit out of the hundreds and hundreds of videos that I've put out. And I just want to tell you, I put out like 550, I don't know, five, six, pushing 600 videos. Every one of those videos is a labor of love. It's not always fun, but I've done it because people have told me not to stop. They've said, keep going, keep going, keep going. Just don't stop. People stop me in airports. People stop me in hospitals. People stop, people stop me at basketball games. People stop me wherever I go in uh, gun shops and, and motorcycle shops and everywhere. And they say, hey, we love what you're doing. Just please, please, please keep, what you, keep doing what you're doing. And if you've watched the video this far, um, you might know that uh, for a short time here, I'm, I'm doing this full time. Um, this is the way that I'm supporting my family. Um, maybe in six months or a year from now, I might have to go back and get another job in corporate America. But for right now, I'm gonna try to make this thing tick. Um, it's an opportunity that I have. And if you would like to support me, um, I have links down in the, in the video description of where, how you can support me either by buying parts or uh, Patreon or other things. I, I do sometimes dirt bike giveaways and I'm gonna try to think of other things that I can do, um, other services that you guys might be interested in um, where I can add value. Um, if I'm not adding value to your life, then turn these videos off. If I'm not adding value or giving you information that is valuable, then don't watch it. You know, fire me, absolutely fire me. But I'm right here up in the mountains because I love this sport and I want to further this sport. I want to keep going. I want to keep progressing and I want to help you along the way if I can. And, uh, anyway, that's my off the hip, off the cuff. Um, why I ride dirt bikes? Not inclusive, it's just what I thought of right now. Appreciate the support you guys have given me, and uh, <laughs> I'm gonna ride this bike, this bike, <laughs> really, really soon.